In this Photoshop CS6 tutorial, let's play around with scattering a brush. So we choose a brush and you can go to Window Brush or F5 and you should see this little brush window pop up. You can even hit the double arrow to collapse it and you can also click on this little brush icon. It looks like a shape of a brush. So there's many different brushes we can choose. We'll just choose this one that looks like a snowflake. You can also download a custom brush as well. I'm going to double click it and you see there's a brush there that we have and it's quite large so you can change the size here by hitting this drop down arrow and decreasing the size by sliding this or typing in a number. So when I click you see it's blue and it's very pretty because I chose the color blue here as my foreground color. Let me just hit the little square brackets to make it smaller. Now we have a little problem here. This is being treated almost like a solid paintbrush and it's not quite getting the scattering effect that I want. So I'm going to play with a few key settings here. Control Z to undo. So with this window open, if you click on this little area that says brush tip shape, we can play with the brush size and you can slide it and you can quickly preview to see what it looks like here. But a key setting is to play with the spacing. So if we click on spacing, you can actually slide it out and you can see that we have uh, the snowflakes spaced out a lot wider. So as we're brushing here, this is a very powerful technique. So let's press Control alt z Notice how we can also click on this little window here and rotate the angle. You can see the angle of the snowflakes changing as well as the roundness. You can change the roundness setting here or you can click on one of these circles and just uh, just distort it in this way. If you click on the second option here, Shape Dynamics, if you just kind of scrub through these little different slidey bars, you have Size Jitter and you can see that the snowflakes are sl slightly different sizes which is nice to create a more random look. And You can also change the angle jitter so each snowflake is at a slightly different angle and we have a roundness jitter which makes some snowflakes less round than others. This can be useful for galaxies in the sky. Now let's click on the scattering uh, button here. So click in the middle and when we scatter it you see that the brush is being scattered in a random way and this is use useful. So now when I paint is giving more of a random snow effect. This is this is very we can also increase the count, the number of snowflakes by dragging that up. This is great. We now have the power to scatter brushes just the way we want. So if I were to create a new layer and choose that nice brush and scatter it out in whatever settings I set. Uh, just remember that you can always play with the opacity. So if I go 50%, it makes it lighter, see-through. And of course, you can always mix snowflakes with underlying layers. If I had a, some kind of background, you can al also play with these uh, different effects within the layer.